In the vast expanse of Canada overlooking the tranquil lake, Chantel stood with her cherry lip gloss gleaming in the sunshine. Her heart weighed heavy with emotions as she knew that these were her last days in the land she once called home. As she gazed out over the majestic scenery, she reminisced about the struggles she had endured during her trip. The hardships had been so intense that she felt compelled to bid farewell to Canada in her own way. She took a deep breath and spoke to her viewers. This trip has been really hard in so many ways that I just, as I talk, I'm looking out over the lovely lake. I didn't realize how many ties I would have to end before being free to just leave, and all of my messy life I've created for myself. Chantel's voice trembled as she revealed the challenges she had faced, the mixed emotions she had experienced, and the ties she had to sever before embarking on her journey. Before I found God, there are so many weird mixed memories here. This was my life. This was me. This is how you guys knew me. This is how you guys know me. But this is not who I am now. She stood there, gazing at her old life through a different lens, one that she had never seen before. The realization that she had to let go of everything she once held dear was overwhelming. From rehoming her cats to leaving behind a house full of stuff, saying goodbye to family, and even to her car, every step of her journey was a challenge. But as she watched her Kia drive away, she knew that she had to keep moving forward. For her to finish growing and evolving as a person, she needed to find happiness. And that wasn't here. It was in the Middle East. As she took one last look at the scenery around her, she knew that her journey was getting realer with every passing moment, but she also knew that the journey ahead would be worth every hardship she had faced. And with that, Chantel took her first step towards her new life, leaving behind everything that she had ever known, ready to embark on an epic adventure to find her true self. The scene opens with Chantel savoring a delectable homemade stew at her mom's house. The aroma of freshly baked bread with butter wafts through the air, making her mouth water. She can't resist sharing her scrumptious breakfast, consisting of coffee, toast, hash browns, cheese eggs, and water. Her mom made the eggs and they were as fluffy and flavorful as ever. While cleaning up the villa, Chantel discovers a high-performance platter that she never used. It has everything she needs to jot down her visions, goals, and even include some cool quotes. She starts using it and can't get enough of it. As she works, her mom brings her some pickles, olives, and cheese, her favorite snack. Chantel is a cheese lover and so is her dog, Buster. Her mom knows her well and the snack is the perfect pick-me-up to keep Chantel energized and focused. On the last night in Canada, Chantel's family treats her to Indian food. She savors the fish pakoras with mint chutney dip, butter chicken, naan, rice, and lamb dish. The food is exquisite, and the company is even better. As departure day approaches, Chantel's mom prepares a scrumptious chicken salad sandwich from Costco. It is loaded with chicken salad mix, cheese, and olives, and is the perfect send-off meal. Despite the excitement of starting a new chapter in her life, Chantel can't help but feel a sense of longing for the people and memories she's leaving behind. She lays awake until 4 a.m., missing someone and wishing she were with them somewhere else. But the time for nostalgia is over and Chantel is ready for her next adventure. She kicks the snow one last time before heading to the desert dance, leaving behind a world of delicious food, cherished memories, and unforgettable experiences. Chantel's journey through the airport was always a challenge, but she always managed to make the best of it. As she passed through security, she couldn't help but admire the delicious looking food at the restaurants, but she knew better than to indulge too much before a flight. Instead, she opted for a small, organic snack, not wanting to risk any stomach troubles on the plane. To good health, she thought to herself as she nibbled on what tasted like sandpaper. Despite the long walk to her gate, Chantel decided to get some exercise before the long flight ahead. She did some sweat dabbing and stretching, determined to push herself as much as possible. Finally, she arrived at her gate, where she discovered that her flight was delayed by 45 minutes. No big deal, she thought, it'll give me more time to relax before the flight. As she boarded the plane, she was relieved to receive some crackers and cranberry juice. She was starving and it had been a while since she ate her bland snack. 
She settled in for the long flight ahead and decided to check out the entertainment system. She was pleasantly surprised to find Hall and Oates, her favorite band. She decided to watch a horror movie, The Menu, while eating her meal. The meal on Qatar Airways was delicious, as always. Chantel couldn't resist trying the farro salad, a grain she had never tasted before. It was topped with hummus, feta cheese, and fresh vegetables, and it tasted divine. She also enjoyed the black pepper chicken served with rice, broccoli, peppers, and garlic bread. For dessert, there was a mousse with mango, and to drink, she had a refreshing Coke and a bottle of water. As the flight continued, Chantel watched the wings change shape as they prepared for landing in Doha. She couldn't wait to begin the next leg of her journey and experience all the adventures that awaited her. Chantel stepped out of the plane, her eyes droopy from lack of sleep and her legs heavy from hours of sitting on the cramped flight. She looked around at the massive airport and sighed. So, this is kind of a long and boring part of the vlog, but I wanted to give you an idea of how huge this airport is and how long it takes to get to my gate. She pointed her camera around, trying to capture the vastness of the airport. The last time she was here, she was going back to Canada, and it took her a while to get to the gate. She remembered starting from the sea zone and having to go to C-14 last time too. But this time, when they got dropped off, they started at the very beginning in a zone. She knew there was no physical way possible for her to walk from Zona to the end, especially since she had a carry-on that was pretty heavy, and she was already exhausted. I only had a short enough layover because of the fact that our flight from Montreal to Doha was delayed because of late boarding, she explained, her voice quivering with panic. All this to say, we weren't even there yet, we still had a ways to go. It was pretty far, and it's just to give you an idea of how huge this airport is. This is just a small part of it, and hopefully, I won't have to make this journey for a while, at least a few months, and I'm hoping for longer, but we'll see, inshallah. As she trudged along, Chantel's mind started to wander. She thought about her hamster back home and how much she missed him. She also thought about the live stream she had had missed and how much she wanted to get back to them. Suddenly, she snapped back to reality and realized that she might be at the wrong gate. I have a feeling I'm not at the right gate because there's literally not another single living creature in this area. Is that a person? No, I'm not sure. There's not even bacteria living around here. There's nothing here. She looked at the board and it confirmed her suspicion. Info available at 6.30, it read. She was supposed to be boarding at 7.30. Chantel sighed and looked around. This is not an easy trip for sure, she said. But just because something's difficult doesn't mean it's not worth doing. That's my new motto and I'm sticking to it. Chantel finally made it to the gate and boarded the plane, ready to fly back home. She knew the trip had been tough, but it was worth it. As she settled into her seat, she smiled and whispered to herself, the journey may have been long but the destination is worth it.